this is the correct way to use Excel markers. You have these for when they're not in use, and then you turn it over and it's in use. Hello friends and well-wishers, Atlas here again. Uh, today I have for you a standard Tachikaze deck profile. Now, uh, Tachikaze is one of the three clans that I actually, like, care deeply about. It's a weird sentence. So, uh, you know, with the new equip gauge mechanic where you put the top card of your deck under a rear guard as, like, a kind of soul for that rear guard, I think it's something that gives a lot of credit to an Excel clan where uh, Excel is kind of turning out to be the weakest gift so far. That might change as, you know, time goes on. If anyone's watching this in, like, 2019 and come back and they're like, yeah, man, so Excel turned out to be the best and uh, Nova Grappler was at the front of that charge, you know. Who knows what the future could hold? Let's just get started. So, as your starter, you run Dragon Egg. Uh, so when you ride on him, you draw a card. You kind of have to. Um, it's a it's a great card, and uh, every clan has it in standard, and that's our only choice anyway. So, yeah, four copies of Ravenous Dragon Gidorex. So uh, he's uh, grade three, twelve K with the Excel gifts. Um, so when he attacks, you can put up to one card uh, as an equip gauge for either uh, any of your rear guards, and then he gets plus 5k for each rear guard. So, one thing to note is that you do not have to put a gauge for... There are cats, sorry. Uh, so you don't have to put a gauge for any of your rear guards if you don't want to. Um, if you have, you know, six rear guards, you can put zero, you can put six, you can put three, you can do whatever you want. Um, that is very good in its flexibility, and it's also nice that it can kind of put pressure just by having a board. You don't really have to put a booster behind him because he hits, you know, big numbers already. Sure, it's not hitting crazy numbers on force, but whatever. Uh, and then his other skill is uh, you can discard five equipped gauge, and three of your front row rear guards get plus 5k until end of turn. And then if your opponent has four or less damage, you deal them a damage. So... You're probably not going to use this still often, but it is nice if you're behind. So, like, let's say you're against OTT and Gabe drove check two heals in a row for the third time today. Sorry, flashback. And, uh, you know, he, he went from, like, five to three. You can use this to, like, just give him a damage and maybe put a little bit more pressure on them. Um, typically, the optimal time to use it is putting them from four to five, but a lot of the times your rear guards have, having a quick gauge is nice to keep. But again, it's an option, and as we all know, options are good. Four copies of Tyrant Death Rex. So, uh, grade three, 12k Excel gift. Uh, when he attacks a vanguard, you soul blast and retire a rear guard, and then you choose an opponent's front row rear guard, kill it, and he gets plus 10k for every gauge that was under the rear guard you killed of yours. So this is a great rear guard. It's a great way to finish because you can go, all right, I'm going to kill off my Mega Rex that has four gauge under it. So he gets plus 40k and I get to kill off the deer in the front row or I get to kill off the, you know, Captain Nightmist or whatever. That's probably a bad example, but like, you know, deer or uh, antlion, whatever problem thing is sitting in the front row. But uh, it, it also gives you the Excel gift. So it's not a terrible ride, but it's still pretty bad. Um, I... It's also quite cheap, so if you're, you know, uh, some people were like, budget version, and this is probably the worst deck to budget right now, because Gator X is so important. But this is also a very good card for finishing and for board control. Four copies of Ravenous Dragon Mega Rex. So, uh, grade two, 9k, when he attacks a Vanguard on Vanna Rear, you can kill another uh, Rear Guard to draw a card. Then, if he's on Rear Guard, you can Counter Blast and put a card... Uh, from your deck into as a gauge for him and he gets plus 5k for every gauge equipped to him so one thing to know is that if you do not do the counter blast skill you do not get your plus 5k for each gauge uh how fucking crazy would that be though just be like all right i'm gonna kill this draw plus 20k awesome so um it is nice like this and bly tops are probably going to be what most of your counter blast cost is but it, it's mostly nice just to uh cycle things for draw effects and uh allows early aggression for with things like you know blight tops and uh less ceterex i think his name is um very important card run it for uh not super expensive so that's nice four copies of savage raider so 9k grade two uh one place from hand you put a, a card as a gauge from the top of the deck to another rear guard so you can't put him to himself uh just keep that in mind not that you would but just 
he can't be the only one on board. The other still is when he attacks Vanguard, he can move any number of uh, gauges equipped from one of your rear guards to another rear guard. So this is nice in that, all right, I, you know, used Data Rex, gave a gauge to Lysatorex and uh, Megarex, that kind of thing. And Lysatorex's gauge is kind of butt, and Megarex's thing is like a blight tops. So Savage Raider can move it from Megarex to Lysatorex, and then you have the card where you want it. So th I, I'm so glad they included this outright because it allows you to uh, control your, you know, gauge as needed. Four copies of Blight Tops. So uh, grade two, 9k, when retired from air, you can counter blast one. If you do, return up to two equipped gauges from him to your hand. So uh, it, it should be noted that it says would be retired. And a lot of people are like, wait, I can prevent being retired by doing the counter blast? No, it's just saying that you get your gauge back before Blytops gets retired. So just keep that in mind. Super important for the deck, most of the engine for your hand. One copy of uh, Attempt Mammoth. So you can run any single tech in this slot. I had Savage King for a while, but he mostly just didn't do anything. This is nice because it allows you to take more cards out of Protect Clan hands, and because OTT is top dog right now, that's mostly what it's for. Um, his skill is when he attacks, your uh, opponent has to call two or more guardians for the battle that he attacks. And then at the end of the battle that he attacked, you discard a gauge equipped to him. If not, you retire him. So this is pretty easy to maintain. Um, I know in premium, hint, next video, uh, he can do some fun stuff with Gaia. We're like, oh, he's going to die anyway. Oh, he's back. Cool attack again. Um, but with this, it's you can pretty much keep up the gauge needed to keep him alive. Um, the reason he's not at more is because he's really only good against Protect Clans for the most part. Um... He's still a good card overall, but just most of his usage is against Protect Clans, and you have a natural advantage against that anyway. Uh, four copies of Sonic Noah. So, uh, 8K grade 1. Uh, when he boosts a rear guard, you can put you put a gauge under the thing it boosted, and then on Vanner rear, when it's attack or the attack that it boosted hits a vanguard, you retire another rear guard to draw a card. So, uh, you this is nice for any time of the game. Um, the gauge is mandatory, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever, that's life. Uh, the important thing, though, is that if you put this behind Mega Rex, you're constantly making him bigger when you do Mega Rex's Counter Blast still. And if you're doing this behind, say, a Blight Tops in the early game, you can use this to get Blight Tops all ready to retire so you can get your gauge back. Or if you put this behind Attempt Mammoth, that means you have an everlasting supply of gauge. So, very good. Oh, and because the skill is Vanner Rear, you can ride him, call the Satyrex, Attack with the Satyrax, attack with this, your opponent usually takes it. So then you retire the Satyrax, draw a card, then Soul Blast with the Satyrax and get your gauge back. So aside from the drive check, which is basically just getting rid of your ride minus, um, you get a plus one out of that because you get the card and you get the Satyrax's gauge, but you lose the Satyrax itself. So really good card. Um, four copies of what I've been talking about this whole time. So uh, let's... Lacerataryx, that was the full name. Sorry. I'm just gonna call him Lacerataryx, just fuck it. So, uh, on rear, when placed from hand, you put a card as a gauge under him, and then when he would die, uh, you can Soul Blast and return him to one uh, gauge equipped from him to his hand. So, this is another way to get gauge back in your hand. It's a good retire target for Death Rex and for uh, Mega Rex for, you know, more advantage. And uh, that combo I just mentioned with Sonic Noah. So, quite good, please run it. Uh, four copies of uh, Striped Tarot. So when retired from rear during your turn, you can Counter Blast and return it to your hand. This is really fucking funny on the Excel circle because you go attack for 18, attack with Mega Rex, pop it, draw a card, get it back to your hand. So this is uh, quite important for the deck. If we get more grade ones that are more important, this will probably start diminishing in number. Uh, part of it is because it's competing for Counter Blast with Mega Rex and Blight Tops, but also because... Uh, the skill says during your turn, which means you can't just leave it out there because then Kagro is going to pop it and then you're, you know, can't get it back like you used to, man. I don't know why Bushi did that. They kept it with Blight Tops. You can do Blight Tops whenever the hell you want. Same with Lysatorex, but something about this, just they had to make it during your turn. Oh, well, uh, still a pretty good card. It's a good shield. It's 10k shields. Um, it, you know, it's probably like, you know how there are those cards where you're like, I'm running this because I have to. That's this, basically. Um, all right, for traders we have four heals because duh, um, and then eight crit. 
and four PG draws. So, uh, people are probably in the comments going, what the fuck, man, where are the front traders? Well, uh, Tachikaze in Standard has a million and a half decision trees, and what I mean by that is there are lots of people, like, depending what you're playing against, your attack patterns are going to change. And because of that, front traders are very unreliable in that, like, for example, in Protect, you're usually going to go with your rear guards first, so and so as to you know bait out smaller guards and then go for the big guns with death rex and Mag and uh, gator rex and all that stuff. So also uh, crits are still the best trigger um, objectively in every clan. So uh, yeah, that's you. Just if you want stuff with front triggers, wait for the premium video. There's front triggers there, but. As of, okay, Tachikaze is basically an Excel clan that's not really an Excel clan, so front triggers aren't needed. That's all I'm going to say about it. So, yeah, that was the standard uh, Tachikaze deck profile. Uh, if you like it, rate, comment, subscribe, yell at me in the comments, watch Nexus at night. I'm Atlas. Love you guys. Have a good night.